ஹாய் ஆம் செல்வா பிரபாகரன் இன் திஸ் வேல் ஸ்டை டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த ஜீரோ இன்ஃப்ளேட்டட் ரிக்ரெஷன் வெரி கிளியர்லி வி வில் ட்ரை டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் அண்ட் வாட் சிட்டுவேஷன்ஸ் யூ கேன் அப்ளை தட் இஸ் வாட் ப்ராப்ளம் இட் ட்ரைஸ் டு சால்வ் அண்ட் தென் த இன்டிவிஷன் அண்ட் மேத்தமேட்டிக்ஸ் பிஹைண்ட் ஜீரோ இன்ஃப்ளேட்டட் ரிக்ரெஷன் அண்ட் தென் வி வில் அப்ளை பைத்தன் கோட் இன் ஜூபிடர் நோட் புக் அண்ட் சி எ ஃபுல் ஸ்கேல் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆல்சோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லெட்ஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் சப்போஸ் யூ ஹாவ் அ டேட்டா செட் அண்ட் தட் டேட்டா செட் கண்டெயின்ஸ் அ வை வேரியபிள் விச் ஹேஸ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் ஜீரோஸ் லாட் ஆஃப் ஜீரோஸ் இன் சச் சிட்டுவேஷன்ஸ் யூ கேன் யூஸ் ஜீரோ இன்ஃப்ளேட்டட் ரிக்ரெஷன் டு சால்வ் தட் ப்ராப்ளம் first let's understand why this is a problem first okay then we will get into the mathematics and all now let's imagine you have a data where you have a x variable say the area of the house as the area of the house increases the prices also increases right so you can see that from that relation if you use a regression model such as linear regression or some sort of a regression model to predict this you will you might get a line of best fit that looks something like this but now let's imagine an alternate situation Okay so as the x increases for several values of x in this part and for this range of x the value of y is exactly equals to 0 okay for this range of x and this range of x only in between this range as x increases as x increases y also increases only in this range now if you try to fit a regression model on top of this you might get a line of best fit that might go something like this right which is not the right prediction this this line represents y had the predicted values of y for various values of x so this kind of a pattern can very well occur in the world of cyber security attacks you will see this kind of pattern very often in such data sets you will also see in pair parts demand forecasting also right besides this you can also see for say earthquake earthquake data sets crime data sets and so many other real world situations now let's see how to actually use zero inflated regression to solve this let's say you have a data set okay for simplicity i will take just one x and one y you could very well have many different columns for x variable that's perfectly fine the same logic of explanation would still apply so let's say you have for various different values of x several values of y is zero for several records the value of y is 0 for several other values the y value is going to be not equal to 0 i'm just marking it as 1 here okay and several other values the y is still 0 so these are all non zero these represent non zero y values okay now traditionally we will simply fit a regression model on top of this and make the prediction for y hat now here what we will do instead is we will start with the data okay so we will start with the x on top of this instead of fitting a regression model we will fit a classification model we will fit a classification model how do we do that we will let's say we will create another y we will call it as y dash this will contain zeros whenever y equal to 0 so in these places y equal to 0 so we will have the same values here for y where it is non zero these are all continuous values where it is non zero we will mark it as 1 here this is actually 1 not non zero values we will mark it as 1 okay now for this we will build a classification model to predict y dash as a function of the original x variables okay as a function of the original x variable variables we will get a prediction okay so predicted value of y dash hat this can either be 0 or it could be 1 okay because y y dash hat is going to be either 0 or 1 only if it is 0 then the final predicted y hat so from this we are going to come to a prediction for come to a prediction for y hat the original the the, the predicted value for the original y is what y hat is okay so if this is 0 then y hat equals to 0 otherwise otherwise what we are going to do is we are going to fit another regression model a regression model where after filtering y dash hat is not equal to 0 okay we will basically we will take only these records these records where we had another column called y dash had the predicted values for this data right wherever it is not zero we will take these records right wherever it is one basically right wherever it is one we will take these records and build a regression model on top of this data alone okay now this is going to give us the predicted values of y hat the final predicted values of y hat right so these two will be the final predictions right so essentially what we are build what we are doing is we will build a classification we take the data we build a classification to see if the predicted value is either 0 or 1 right if it is 0 then y hat equal to 0 if it is 1 we build a regression model on top of that we will make the predictions for the final y hat 
Okay, let's now apply it in Python. First, we will import the data sets NumPy and Pandas. And we are also doing matplotlib inline to show the plots in this sheet itself, in this notebook itself. Okay, now in order to implement a zero inflator regression, we are going to use a package called SKLIGO. We will come to that part later on in this particular code. Now, what we are going to do is to put together a data set, a synthetic data set whose pattern looks like this. Okay, for x values between 0 to 100, 0 to 100, first 100 values, maybe 0 to 99. Okay, first 100 values, the y value is going to be equal to 0. Then for the next 100 values, the y value, which is the y axis here, y value is going to be linearly increasing as x increases. Of course, there's going to be some error term added on top of this. This is what we are doing here. This segment of the code is for this part. This segment of the code for D2 data frame here is for this particular part, right? The next 100 values. And finally, this segment, the next 100 values is again going to be equal to 0, which is this part. Okay, then we concatenate all these three data sets together to form DF. If you plot X versus Y, you get a pattern like this. For the first 100 values, Y equals to 0. For the next 100, you get this kind of a pattern. Then again, next 100, you get flat like this. First, we will directly build a linear regression on top of this. We are going to Im import linear regression from scikit-learn linear model, train the linear regression model, right? Then on the trained model, we can predict it. The predicted line of best fit looks something like this right ideally we will want the predicted line of best fit the predicted results to follow this pattern here right but because of the presence of these zeros here and here the line gets more flattened out so to make amends we will build a zero inflated regression model for this we will use zero inflated regressor from sk learn sk lego dot meta to run this for this code to work, you will first need to do a pip install sklego. Okay, only after this is done, this will work. Now, in order to use zero inflated regression, pass in the model objects. First, we do a classification, then regression. So, pass it in this order to form your zir model. Once that is done, we can train the model, right? Dot fit, pass in the x and the y. Make sure you re reshape your x, get the numpy numpy array from this reshape it so that every other record is going in its own row okay once that is done your model got trained then you can make the prediction on top of that just pass in the data set as it is the x values here and you will get the predictions now this does not show any of the non-zero values here it it appears as if it contains only zeros but let's plot it and see on plotting it you can clearly see that for the this range of x right for 0 to 100, the predicted value is 100, is, is 0. Likewise, for 200 to 300, it is also 0. In this range, we get a right correct fit here. So this is how you can implement it. The next time we are you are encountering a data set which contains a lot of 0 values in x in, in your y variable, then consider applying 0 inflated regression to correctly predict the zeros present in your y. I hope everything is clear. If you have more questions, please do ask in the comments. I will talk to you soon with another very interesting video.